you're hearing at the moment is the quality you're going to get using this microphone and this is what the other person should be hearing press the button for superhuman hearing let's get the volume up so this is standard noise and if i now press it see it just enhances the sounds coming around you hi there today we're unboxing a gaming headset so this particular one is by turtle beach and it's the elite atlas aero so details in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing so let's take a quick look around the packaging so it comes nicely packaged with a picture of the actual headset stating it's wireless a couple of details there so superhuman hearing pro specs okay coming around here waves nx 3d audio superhuman hearing so obviously it's trying to indicate you've got surround sound on there and you can pick up a lot of what's going on around you in gaming and you're coming around here some details on there so 3d audio immersion all day battery life glasses friendly 50 millimeter nano clear speakers durable comfort portable design Okay, and down here, noise cancelling microphone, variable mic monitoring. Okay, so just to highlight the compatibility on this. So with Windows 10, you've got wireless capability, but with other devices like a Mac, Xbox One, PS Pro or PS, Nintendo Switch, even a mobile tablet, you'd want to use the cable that comes with this. So just to note, only wireless on a PC. Okay, coming around here, some details there. And that's about it. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging. So let me quickly go through them one by one. So first of all, quick start guide. And if I open this up, details on using the product and multi-language. Okay, next you've got a Turtle Beach sticker. So just to show single sticker there, nothing on the other side. Then you've got piece of paper highlighting that don't return the product if you've got issues. The Turtle Beach support team can assist if there's any problems. Okay, next you've got transmitter, very nice and compact. And coming around here, looks like there's an LED indicator, some branding there, and that's it. So this is for plugging into a PC, not compatible with other devices. Okay. Then you've got a small label that came with the transmitter saying Turtle Breach, hear everything, defeat everyone. Okay, next you've got a charging cable. Okay, it's a nice thick cable with this, very well built. And the actual cable length itself is 60 centimeters, used for charging the headset and micro USB at one end and USB at the other end. Build quality feels very good on it. Okay, so next we've got a mobile cable and the length of this is 1.3 meters. Build quality seems fairly good on there, rubbery and pretty strong. Connection points seem fair, bit of flex on there, so that's nice. Um, connection points, I don't like them. They're actually not gold plated. Would have been nice if they're gold plated and just to show one, two, three layers on there, and one, two, three, four layers on this one. Okay, and if I come around a little bit more, you can see the actual mic on here. Okay, and turning it this way. So if you see the buttons here, black glossy buttons, and the rest is matte black. So buttons feel good as well. Okay, next we've got a mic, and coming in close, it's actually 13 centimeters long. Again, it doesn't have gold plated connector on there. It's at an angle. This isn't flexible. This area here is nicely flexible just to show. And obviously usage wise, if I come in close, you can see there's some foam here. So that would be the area pointing towards you as you're talking and some branding on the back. All matte finish there, bit of a glossiness on the cable here okay so let's take a look at the gaming headset so nice design to there you've got some branding at the top got some foam underneath here and obviously it's folded so if I unfold it you can hear it clip into position clips once clips twice and that's it that's opened up now plastic here let me remove that okay that reveals the light foam on there 
metal at the top, leatherette up here, and obviously padded. I think it could have been padded a little bit more, feeling it. Okay, in terms of adjusting it, the adjustments are here. Looks pretty cool. And coming around here, obviously branding, you've got plasticky feel to all this, and all this is plastic as well, metal at the top. Coming around here, just to show, so you've got a mic on off button here, and if I bring it this way, you've got the mic connection point, so you can just plug this straight in, so I'll show that. Okay, then you've got the connection point for the mobile cable, you've got a charge point, LED indicator here, you've got an on off button, you've got a superhuman hearing button here, which is remappable, okay, volume control here, and you've got variable mic monitoring here, and this is remappable as well. Feel of the actual adjustments feels good. Buttons feel good as well. So the headphones can be adjusted like this as well, so you can rest the headset directly onto your shoulders as you're playing. If you wanted to have a small break, just obviously put them down like so, and then you can just twist them and put them back up. What's interesting about these headphones is the fact that it's got an adjustment if you wear glasses. So if I now pull this off, just to show, here on the actual padding, just behind it, there's a slight strip of plastic and there's a notch there. So if I pull this up, and what I can do, I can pull on it. And what that does, it makes a small gap. And that obviously your glasses come in here. So nice design feature here. And if I pull it at the maximum, this is what you see. So it's come in slightly, as you can see. And if you didn't want that, you just put it back again, like so. And then once you're done, obviously clip it straight back on again. So just to show the actual speaker on here, looks pretty cool, nice that you can take it off. No additional, obviously, earmuffs on here, so you can't change them. Let me show the other one as well. Same thing again, the adjuster's just there for your glasses. So you've got some material covering the actual headphone, and if I come in close, you may be able to see is small holes in it obviously to let the sound through and that's it build quality feels quite good on there clamping force doesn't feel too heavy just a note okay so i've had a test of the headphones comfort wise really liked it really nice and comfortable padding wise there's so much padding on there so gives an enhanced amount of comfort on there wearing glasses and using them no issues either does feel very nice this Padding here seems sufficient as well, and in terms of clamp fit force, I didn't find it too uncomfortable, obviously, wearing it. Now, sound quality on here, bass, mid-range, and treble seemed pretty good. No distortion at high levels on there. So, impressed. Sound quality is very good on it. Okay, so let's weigh the headset. See if I've got my scale here. Give it a second. 410 grams. Okay, so this headset is wireless, but it's only wireless with a PC. So you'd have to use this transmitter to work with the PC. So if you're not gonna be using it with a PC and you're gonna use it with a gaming console, for instance. So for the PlayStation controller, very straightforward. Obviously just plug it into the headphone jack on the controller and it works straight off there. Obviously make sure your PlayStation's been set up to work with the headphones. And the other one is the Xbox. Similar thing, headphone jack is there. Just plug it in and just make sure it's configured on the Xbox to work with that. Other thing to note is the virtual surround wouldn't be the same as on a PC. So obviously this will just provide the normal sort of setup you'd have with a general set of headphones. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so charging the headphones is very straightforward. USB cable goes into a charge point like your computer or a power brick and the micro USB end obviously plugs into the headphones. Once you plug it in, you'll see the indicator coming on, meaning it's charging. Okay, so next, let's set up the software for the gaming headset on a PC. So, I've done a search on Google. I've found the Turtle Beach website with details on how to install this. It says we need to install the Turtle Beach Control Studio. So, I've already downloaded that from this particular link, and I've saved it on my desktop. So, if I double-click it now, Let's give it a moment and go through the default options on here. 
Okay, so it's installed. Let's click Launch Turtle Beach Control Studio and click Finish. Okay, please connect a Turtle Beach device. So now, if I get the actual transmitter and plug it into my computer, the audio driver is not installed or the installation did not complete. Press yes to download and install it. Okay, so now I need to restart my computer. So let me do that and we'll continue after it's started up. Okay, so my computer's rebooted. Now it's saying ready to install. So let's install the audio driver. Okay, it's finished. Let's click finish on that. And that's it. Now let's start up the control studio. Okay, so it's showing grayed out. So next, let's turn on the actual headset. So buttons there. And if I just hold on to it for a moment. There you go. White lights flashing on there. And there you go. It's connected, as simple as that. So nothing to really do. As soon as the transmitters plugged into your computer, headsets on, it connects straight away. And just to show the options you have available, so game treble boost, turn that on if you can turn your, increase your treble on your gaming. And obviously there's a slider on there to increase that. Same with bass boost as well. Game dialogue level, you can adjust that. Game mix chat, so that's mixing between the gameplay and the chat. Okay microphone volume so you can adjust that noise gate threshold variable mic monitoring okay 3d audio okay game specializer it's there turn that on superhuman hearing we'll leave chat boost how it is okay so coming over the other side we've got variable mic monitoring so the actual turning switch there you can actually change the functionality on that so if i now come over here drop down so these are the options you have available there and the same one with superhuman hearing. So you can adjust that to do different things as well. Okay, now coming over on audio settings, got equalizers you can make adjustments to and coming here, signature sound, you've got some presets, bass boost, treble boost, bass and treble boost. Okay, superhuman hearing is off. Okay, global presets set to defaults, but you can save settings so you can save presets as you make them macros okay so functions here different functions and you can set up macro keys for those okay next let's go to here master mute so you can mute everything and that's it so that's all the options you have available so quite a bit there really just for a set of headphones as well so it's quite impressive the functionality you've got on there so next let's try it out with some gaming okay so i've got my sound level meter here and let's do a measurement of the sound levels coming out of the gaming headset so let's go quiet for a moment just to see what the ambient noise in the room's like so 35 decibels. So what I've done, I've taken the mobile cable, plugged it into my phone and the other ends plugged into the headset. Got the volume on maximum. Let's hit play. I'll cover one up and do the other one and then I'll switch over. Okay, so we're getting about 77 decibels coming out of the headset. Okay, next let's test out noise leakage. So I'll cover the earpieces up and we can see the levels being given out at maximum volume. So I'll gently press down to the sort of levels it would be on your ears. So 59 decibels, it doesn't seem too bad in terms of leakage. So for my next test, I'm gonna test out gaming with the gaming headset. So I've got Fortnite playing at the moment and obviously the gaming headset's plugged in via the wireless transmitter. Now, my voice that you're hearing at the moment is the quality you're gonna get using this microphone and this is what the other person should be hearing. So I have checked it already and the sound quality via the mic does sound very good. Now, the other thing worth mentioning about this headset is the superhuman hearing on there. So this is an interesting feature. I've not really seen it on other headphones, but what it actually does, it enhances the sounds going on around you to what they say literally give you that extra edge. So at the moment, I've not got it on and I'm gonna try and demonstrate this the best I can. So 
what I've done, I've taken my condenser mic and I've placed it in the earpiece of my uh, gaming headset and hopefully that should give you an idea of what it does. So, at the moment it's not on and if I press the button for superhuman hearing, let's get the volume up. So this is standard noise and if I now press it, see it just enhances the sounds coming around you. You can hear the footsteps as well, quite clear. You can hear the chest there in the background. I'm just going to run around a little bit. Now let me turn it off. You see the difference? It just adds a bit of sharpness to the sound. Okay, so I can see someone in the distance there. You turn it on. Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this gaming headset from Turtle Beach. This is the Elite Atlas Aero. Build quality of headphones feels good. It's nice, it's a foldable design as well. Cushioning is sufficient, so it's nice and comfortable. They've got that additional functionality where you can pull this off and have a slight recess in there. So if you wear glasses, it's a little bit more comfortable. It's nice that it comes with a detachable mic as well. So you can use it for other uses as well. You're not just using it for gaming. You could just wear it out and about to listen to music comes with relevant accessories as well obviously a mobile cable to connect it to your phone and obviously this would be used for your PlayStation or Xbox as well so that's one criticism about this headset obviously the wireless capability isn't available with a console it would be nice if that functionality was available too but it works great with a PC sound quality is excellent no distortion on there sound levels could be a little bit higher I'd say looking at other headphones I've reviewed in the past but other than that a great set other criticism I could make is the fact that it'd be nice if it came with carry case so the fact you can fold it up which is really cool just to show so there you go hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this details are in the description below thanks for viewing and don't forget to like comment and subscribe